Hi, my name is Martin. I'm from uh, company SmartTech. Uh, so today I will show you a little bit about our equipment and the machine which is uh, loading containers. Uh, so briefly I will tell you about how it works and uh, what are the benefits of the machine. Every customer basically chooses its own way how to organize the loading on the plate. Uh, here you saw that before the packages they left some bars on the plate. It's not necessary, but it's easier afterwards for a receiving part to, to, to organize unloading process unless you have some of our machines for the unloading purpose. But as I was saying, this is not necessary. Also important feature, here you can see the customer is very precise and uh, they are arranging the packages even uh, very perfectly before the loading. But in case you are not doing that, you can uh, rely on these rollers. So while you will be sliding inside uh, the packages, if there is slight uh, uh, arrangement issues, these rollers will help you to merge the packages before it, it is entering the container. Additional equipment possibilities for the system is uh, scales. So they are located near the legs. The load can be lifted with the hydro cylinders and uh, you can easily see the weight uh, before you actually are loading. The benefits from that is that you are able to kind of uh, react before actually you load it too much or too little in the container, so you're avoiding uh, some penalties in the ports or from customers or whatsoever. So you really need to consider this uh, option before choosing the machine uh, in our factory. So all the operations of the system is provided from here. There is only one person necessary who is capable of loading, uh, the, uh, providing the whole process. And basically here you can see the operator just recently loaded uh, the packages on the system. Now he is uh, entering the uh, information in the system. And after that container comes, basically this is his working area. And what he will be doing, uh, he will turn on the hydro station in order to operate uh, the machine and adjusting it before the before, uh, container is approaching. So if you take a look on the legs, for example, you will be able to move the machine left and right or up and down, for example. So that will help you to connect with the container. After the connection is provided, uh, the operator will turn uh, on the plate sliding and uh, the product will go inside of the container. After that, the bar from up here, also with the cylinders, will be lowered down and hold it in, inside of the container for in purpose to, to pull out the plate. It's also very important that uh, we have on each system we have a GSM router. So in case some kind of errors or issues are happening, so we are able to connect uh, immediately just by a phone call and to see what is happening with the system, with the automation and what kind of problems and how can we help you remotely. So before container comes, uh, each time you should be really make sure that the container floor is fine. So in case some screws or something, just you can use some uh, hand tools, angle grinders to remove it or uh, refuse to receive this container or something like that. So but the floor should be in uh, uh, optimal condition. After that, uh, basically the driver is uh, taking the path for connection with the system and the operator is giving uh, to him some signs so it's easier for him to just uh, make it more efficiently and fast to connect. Here you also can see how he's uh, using the manuals for adjusting the system before the connection. So visually he's uh, kind of looking uh, where the pins are going and uh, moving left and right. And if the truck driver is skillful enough so the connection is possible to provide from first time, no problem.
Once it's connected, uh, provided in the pins, so he locks the container with the hydro cylinders from the sides, and now it's uh, basically ready to to be loaded. Overall, one container loading takes uh, cycle time is five minutes, so you can imagine the efficiency comparing to other uh, ways of loading. The heart of the system is located behind the system. So this is the motor reducer who is providing the driving force for pushing the plate inside. So the plate is connected to the chains and uh, all, all because of the power of this uh, motor uh, is uh, we are able to move uh, more than 25 tons if necessary in a one shot. So once the plate is inside, you lower down the bar and basically you can also use this bar hydraulically adjusting the packages if they are a little bit outside. So you can use the force of cylinders and uh, push it a little bit inside so you can see actually this is happening now. Once the uh, operator sees that everything is fine, he, he will be able to pull the plate outside and uh, we are ready to go for the next one. So once the product is blocked inside of the container, so the plight is uh, silently sliding out with no efforts or whatsoever problems. So as you can see, everything is uh, happening smoothly and quite fast. The only thing that you need to consider if you are having HDPE plastic plate is that you need to use the either wooden pieces or if you are using metal pieces on the surface of the plate there shouldn't be any edges uh, sharp edges or sharp uh, things like nails or something like that that would uh, scratch the plate sometimes it happens and it's not a big problem but if you are doing it uh, regularly then it, it's becoming a problem and plate is just wearing out a little bit faster that's the only point Thanks for watching. If this uh, video was helpful for you, just get in touch with me and see you soon.